If you don't know what UTM tags are or UTM parameters, it's simply a way for you to track your analytics in a way that will allow you to understand how your ads are performing if you're running traffic to your ads and what is contributing to those sales. And so if I'm running a uh, Facebook campaign compared to maybe a Google com campaign compared to a YouTube campaign, I want to tag those sources differently so that I can go back into my analytics and see um, which traffic sources converting the sales or bringing in new customers. And then maybe I may want to leverage more advertising uh, dollars or budget towards that traffic source compared to maybe spending money on the other two that are not performing as well. And I actually use this amazing tool here called the Google Analytics URL Builder. You can also uh, go to google.com and just simply type in Google URL Builder and you'll get this similar tool as well that you can manually enter. But I like using this extension, which is a Chrome extension. So you'd also need to be using Google Chrome in order to leverage uh, this tool or extension. And all I simply do is uh, click on that um, on that icon. And what's great is if I go specific to the specific page or URL that I want to um, UTM or put tags on, um, this will automatically capture it. So as you can see here, it automatically captures the URL. And then I just simply tell um, this uh, which traffic source it is. And then I simply come in here and type in the rest of the information in order for me to get the right you. Um, UTM or parameters or UTM tags. So for the campaign, um, so here for the source, I already know that, for example, this might be Facebook and the medium is going to be cost per click. And then for the campaign, let's say I am, um, let's say this is uh, as far as Facebook, let's say this is a page post engagement, page post engagement. And let's say I am targeting uh, women between the ages, women age 25, 25 to 45. And I'm putting dashes between what I want to separate. So I'll probably go ahead and put another dash there. And then for the content, it's what's specific about that ad. And maybe I'm promoting the, um, the I love you necklace. I love you necklace. Okay, so then I just simply want to go ahead and click copy. And then um, that UTM is now copied. And then if I go ahead and open up another tab and simply paste that, you're going to see my full URL. And then what's going to happen is Right at the end of the URL, you're going to see a question mark. And then this is where the tag begins. And that's where the UTM uh, comes into play. And then, um, as you can see, there's going to be an underscore for every time um, the UTM or the code is passing in a new uh, set of information. So that would be the source, the medium, uh, the campaign. It's going to be a, um, an underscore. And then what I want to, that's why I'm encouraging you to use the dash. Uh, when you're separating, um, when you want to add a space between your words, so between women age 25 to 45, there's dashes in between. And uh, as you can see here, so if you follow me, you see source equals Facebook, and then it has the and, uh, and sign, and then UTM underscore medium equals cost per click, and then it has the and sign UTM underscore term equals women age 25 to 45, and then, so this is, uh, and then as you can see, it'll go ahead and go through all the way until the end. Now, if I click enter, it's going to send me to that same page. But now my Google Analytics is tracking exactly where that traffic source came from. And this is a great way for you to stay on top of um, all your marketing and figure out exactly where um, your um, buying customers are coming from. And then to be able to reverse engineer that uh, information and be able to allocate the resources, extra budget towards the platform and the sources and um, uh, that are working for you and be able to maximize your um, your return on investment. So I uh, just wanted to show you how to leverage uh, UTMs in your marketing. And uh, as you can see, if I go ahead and go to Google and then 
uh, type in UT, uh, Google URL Builder. It's usually the first option here. So it'd be that campaign builder. And it's essentially going to ask you the same questions. So as you can see here, I would type in my website and then the campaign source, the medium, the campaign name, the campaign term, and the campaign content. And then it will spit out the information or that long URL just like um, I shared with you previously. And then here is going to go into an explanation as far as um, you know what are um, examples of uh, these different uh, types of um, uh, headings, whether it be the source, the medium, the campaign name, the campaign term, and the campaign content. Um, so that's another way for you to leverage that same uh, tool. If you're not using Chrome uh, or don't want to use the extension, you can simply just come in here and use this. All right. I uh, hope that was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.